Hello there, people of the internet. I'm John Leviathan, and here is my first ever admin tutorial. And today we're going to be focusing on the plugin Command MPC. So these are Command MPCs. Um, I'm in my server SHC public right now, and as you can see, this is a uh, hub area. And if you click on these, it'll do give me a command that I can click on. That is the Discord link, and obviously our, over at Donate. We've got the donating link, which you can also click on. Guys, okay, so if you do want to join my server, it will be up on screen now and in the description. It is play.shcpublic.com. And you can join this, Fractions, Creative, PvP, and The Market. So where you can have, a, you can do a bunch of different stuff in the server, guys. You don't have a, you don't have a Minecraft account? No problem. You can use cracked ones on this. Here we are in the market going through our portal. I may, do, if you guys want a tutorial on advanced portals, uh, just say it in the comments and I'll do one. And here's my other NPC. And as you can see, it says open shop. And here is my shop. And there's the shopkeeper. So now, if we go back to hub, just a couple of really useful plugins, guys. So now I'm going to show you how to make one of these. Now, for this plugin, you're going to be needing Command NPC. There'll be a download link for that. You'll also be needing Citizens 2. Now, Citizens 2 does cost 10 USD. So, if you do want this, this is going to have to be paid for plugin. You cannot use Citizens 1, otherwise this will not work. So, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to find the location where your NPC is going to be. So, let's just, for example, we'll make another Discord one here. So, you want to do this and go slash npc create slash npc create and then the name and mine's going to be discord but i'm going to add in the quick name here so his name is going to be and for and l discord if i create him and there he is now as you can see it is a steve skin that's because i don't think anyone can have the name and for and l so it's going to do that. Now that skin is the LEA skin. So to set a skin, what you need to do is go up to the NPC. You need to go slash NPC select. Just like that. Now it says you've already got this one selected. So that means now if I do anything, if I type any NPC commands, that'll go to that one. But if I want to do this one, I have to go over here and once again do NPC select. And now I've selected this one. So let's go back over to this one and select it. Selecting is very important when you've got multiple NPCs. Alrighty, so now, we've got the name, so let's set the skin. Slash NPC skin, and then you just set the skin. Now, this one is going to use an LEA skin. And there it is, there's the LEA skin. Alrighty. So now, you might want to add a command, such as what that one runs. So this one, what you want to do is slash NPC, CMD stands for command, add, and then, the way mine works is say... And then this is for Discord, so HTTPs. And this is just the link for it. And you just gotta hit enter on that. But as you know, mine's got a color on it. That color is M9. You just hit enter onto that. So now when you hit this NPC, it'll display something like this. So, let's say you uh, make an NPC and you accidentally set it to white like this it's gonna show two of them and you finally just set this one properly so you want to do slash NPC CMD remove and make sure this is selected to remove and then you wanna whichever one you added so the one that we just added then the one with white is our second one however usually it'll be your first one if that was a mistake so you wanna hit that and then it removes the command, and as you can see, you've got it like that. Alright guys, so let's say you want the NPC, but you've named it wrong. So what you want to do, as it says in chat, slash NPC rename, and then just type in its name. For this I'll type test, and there's its name. And obviously mine's not going to be test. So yeah, now to eat an NPC, you want to type slash NPC re remove just like that and then you permanently remove the test and that guys is how you make command NPCs in Minecraft if you guys did enjoy this video and you want more Minecraft plugin tutorials 
leave it in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.